<laughs> yeah, we start today. I'm Heidi in Italy and I'm excited about Africa because last year I was in South Africa and mm. somehow I met Mahama Andrew and your name Rusa Tsa. Is it right? Yeah, Rusa Tsa. Yes, okay, exactly. good. <laughs> I'm not good in pronouncing yeah, have, foreign names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have at least you are trying, you are trying. I'm trying, I'm trying hard, yeah. <laughs> so I invited you to talk with me because uh, I, I noticed, uh, I think it was in Facebook you told me that we met and I noticed that you are in Rwanda. Yeah. And uh, I got into contact with a person in South Africa who is a refugee of Rwanda and uh, mm. she did a presentation about her journey to, of that time, you know, and how she ended up in finally and was saved and uh, could, is alive in, in, in South Africa. And so I got very curious, mm -hmm. you know. You are in Rwanda, you are probably young, so I don't know how it was when this critical time was, but I just am interested in your life and how it unfolds in a country which has had such a horrible history, mm -hmm. let's say, in the very near past. It's not very long yeah. ago, it's 20 something years ago, you know. So. Mm. Just, I was interested in you telling me a little bit how your life was, how your life is now, and how you see the situation mm. and living in your country just now, especially with the corona um, situation, which you have there too, you know, as everywhere in the world. Mm. So you start at the beginning, tell me <laughs> how your childhood yeah. was and, and so on. Uh, as I told you, um... Mahami Andrew Rusaza. Uh, I was born in Uganda. Oh. Um, my mother and family went there as a refugee, grown up there as a refugee, uh, due to civil war in Rwanda took place in 19, in 1959. Okay. There was there was civil war between two two uh, uh, ethnic groups in Rwanda, which is Tutsi and Hutu. So my my mother and father ran away and they went in uh, Uganda, and that's where I was born. Then uh, in uh, I was there for twenty five years. Then in 1994, we came back in Rwanda. That's when uh, the two groups, uh, the refugees in, in, in Uganda and the Rwandese refugees around the world, uh, from Kenya, Congo, uh, Burundi, Uganda, they joined and came back in uh, fighting the government which was in, 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 in power in 1994. So that's when, but they were dominated by Tutsi group. So the government in power was dominated by Hutu uh, ethnic group. So when, when, uh, when um, Tutsi, Dominated uh, came came in Rwanda uh, as uh, as a, a rebel. Then the government in power by that time, which was led by Habyarimana, they started they started uh, looking at Tutsi who were in the country as enemy. So they started killing them. In the reverse, they were like revenging the, the Tutsi group who attacked the government by that time in 1994. So that's how I came in Rwanda, but by then I was very young. Then when I, uh, we, we reached here, Everything were, were, were unstable. People were dying, were still dying. Uh, uh, many people were died by, by during that time from 19, 
from 90 to 95 many people were still uh, were dying and that is when um, it is a one ethnic group attacked another one that is Hutu attacking Tutsi but that was a result of Tutsi who were outside the country uh, coming in Rwanda by force as a, as a war. They come uh, as a, a rebel group. So uh, almost eight, almost one million Tutsi died by that time, killed by the killed by the government in power. So that's how I came. Excuse me, now I didn't hear you. Maybe now you stop for a in moment. In my country after 30 years mm -hmm. in, in Rwanda. Then that's how South America ran away of this country because they were, they were being killed by ethnic group called Hutu. But to come short, also there were conflicts between Hutu and Tutsi because uh, even Tutsi, some Tutsi were killed. I mean, sorry, some Hutu were killed. So that conflict between two ethnic groups uh, brings a result to some people running away from this country, even not only not only Hutus, but also there are some Hutu who run away because in fear being killed or revenged by Tutsi. We have a different refugee. We have refugee, Hutu refugee, also Tutsi refugee who run away this country uh, due to fear of being killed by one ethnic or another one. Then that's how these things you hear about refugees, Hutu refugees, Tutsi refugees. This now, the government is trying to bring the situation, the normal situation, by reconciliating two groups. Uh, yes, we are still having extremists extremists, Tutsi extremists, and Hutu extremists who are still feeling there is no need of reconciliation. But at least now Rwanda is a stable country where people can live uh, peacefully. Uh, and um, whoever come, come out, and they find out that he has no case, he came and and stay in his country peacefully. Then that's how, then I came, I was still young by that time. Uh, I joined university, I mean, I joined the secondary, I studied uh, in Rwanda, then after I joined the university. But due to those conflicts, uh, people, uh, children, we had a very, 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 very big number of orphanage, orphans, we have, um, genocide survivors who are very, very in, 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 who are still in very poor condition. We have uh, children who are still uh, in the problem due the that result of uh, uh, genocide, poverty, because pe many people died and left homeless uh, people in Rwanda. So uh, that's how I came and. Um, Due to that problem, even young people, uh, I, I started a small organization uh, aim, with aim to promote. Uh, before I go to promote development, but there was still lack of human rights. Even young people, they don't understand their rights. So I wanted to, to, to teach young people about their human rights, even inform the government that young people need and want to know their human rights. They even 
we need the human rights to be respected. That's how I started, but um, I was a volunteer in, in different organizations. I'm still a volunteer in a government, a, a, a government institution called Arongsaida International. We mentor children. Can I just in interrupt you on Burkina? Okay. When you keep your microphone in hand, because sometimes you touch it and then there's additional, uh, additional noises and often the, the connection is not so good. So don't touch yourself or don't uh, move in a way that the microphone is, is, is touched, okay? Okay, so uh, I think you hear me now well. Yes, yes. Yeah, then uh, that's, I was um, telling you how I came into starting this organi organization. It was just to help young people understand their right, human right. And, uh, and, and we wanted uh, to develop future leader of young people. And even we see even other side of uh, living like education, um economic and we go into climate change because we find that even climate change is very if we don't have um good environment we can we cannot live in this world uh, but what i want to tell you very important is that uh, rwanda is recovering from the last situation which took place in 1994. Even if we still have some very little problem like poverty, uh, even uh, extremist mm. uh, Tutsi and Hutu who are still having that genocide ideology, but at least we have a good foundation to develop this country. And in fact, uh, I, 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 I like I, to inform you that if you come in this country, you will see that there is change in 25 years uh, is the, in terms of development. But at least we are still weak in the political side. We are still weak in the political side, but in the other side, we are developing like economically. Uh, politi uh, sorry, socially, people are, are recovering from the uh, last, uh, last five, 25 years and uh, the tragic happening in Rwanda, genocide. Mostly our, our history, ethnic conflict and genocide. Uh, unless if you have a question, but that's how uh, the whole history the brief history of our country and uh, the way uh, the, how I'm living nowadays. Yeah, I have two questions. One is how do you envision um, the coming together of both sides? So to, to, to calm down the extremist uh, visions because that's always a danger. Um, mm. What could be done, in your opinion, to, to calm them down and bring them on the same table and make them understand that killing each other is not a good idea? Mm. That's one question. And the next would be about uh, the corona thing. But you start where you want. What I see very important is a political will. Political will, if you can call it, we need a conversation between two groups. Conflict resolution, the mediators who can come out and mediate between these two groups. Because we have, have political leaders who, I mean, opponents in, in both, and at least come and negotiate for, to reconcile. Mm. I say that, do you hear me now? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I say that we need a mediator who can mediate to these two 
these two groups, we need a political willingness of uniting these two groups because we have the, the both side, uh, they have leaders. We need a, a, people in power, even those who are, are outside maybe, we need to come and come up with one mutual understanding of uniting these two groups. But if one keeps saying that I'm right, another one say that I'm right, that will not bring a result. So that's why we need that kind of conversation. Communication, conversation between the two people, we bring our grievances and another group bring its grievances and we, 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 we decide which is who is right and who is not right. But if we keep that one side and say, I'm not, I'm not wrong. Another side brings it and say, I'm not wrong. That is not a solution. We need a pure reconciliation. Yeah. It needs the understanding that both sides are right, but not completely right. And that they need to, to come together with what is good for them and what is good for the others and find a, a common ground. Because there is a lot of common ground. But when you are fixed on, I am right and you are wrong, then you don't find the common ground. Do you know about the theory U of Otto Sharma? See you. Th theory, a theory U. I will send you a link. This would be a good, a good thing. And you can also study with him. And you could be a person to do these things when you, know, when you have the tools, you know, you need, this is a mediation process, which you really need to be able to do. And that mm -hmm. helps uh, bring people together who only fight. And then that helps to bring them into their feelings and into their, their connection, uh, mm -hmm. you know, going out of their head and going back into what is, what is inside, you know, into intuition and so on. And then they can see each other, listen to each other, because the main thing is that people don't listen to each other. They just say, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. You know, and people need to, to, to learn to listen. And if there is a good mediator to help mm. to do a process, they come into listening and then they say, oh, now I understand why, why you think this way, you know. I will send you the, the links for that. I think it would, be, would help you also with your organization. Can you tell me more about what you have founded and what, uh, what uh, will be the, the goal? On, on, on uh, organization? Yes, you talked before that you have uh, uh, founded some, some movement or some organization which ha wants to help the young people. And I would like you to talk a little bit more. And if you have something like a website or where people can get uh, interested in it and maybe okay. support you in some way, you know, you, you, you tell me now. Sure. Uh, I, I, can you hear me now? Okay, I can see you. Can you? I can hear you. It's good. Okay. It's good. Go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm going to type here, um, our website is uh, advancement. Use for human light is for development and human light advancement then dot for allergy. Then uh, we our I started this 2015, but uh, I registered it. Uh, it is a, a, a registered non-government organization. And um, we are working with women and youth. Because uh, we see when you empower women, you empower the family, you empower the country. Because women is the mother of the children, 
women is the one who brings uh, up young children, who is the one who care for the, for the children, even the family. Secondly, women uh, are trustful. They, they are trust, they have, they still have that trust in them. Secondly, they, they still have time for the family. When it comes, let me give you this as a specific, when it comes to Africa, women, they still have time for their children and the family. Secondly, if you, if you give like uh, 1,000 Rwandan francs to the, to the women, she feeds the whole family. She feed, she uh, she provide she provide she provides food for the family. She even provides food for the husband who is not. Uh, I mean, for example, if you give a husband a food uh, one thousand, he will get a half of them. He take it to the to the bar, and even other very little things which has which is not uh, considered for the family but a mother he will keep that money for the family for the children even the husband who has provided that money or have played very little role so that's why i'm considering a mother or a woman if you develop a woman a woman you develop the count why i'm emphasizing i'm putting much emphasis then for the youth Youth are very young people. If you empower young people, you are, empower, you are trying to empower future. So that, and even children. That's what I'm putting much emphasis on young people and young, much emphasis on women. So our vision is to make, to, to make, to empower young people and women to become the, 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 to have the voice of developing their own country and the family. So we are, uh, so we have a project, we have a project, a, list, a, a recent project, we were taking care of teen mothers. So that case, I was looking to that young, young mother if after getting pregnant they 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 leave school but the one who pregnanted them they keep in school so the problem the big problem comes to that young lady but the boy and even the old people they are not they are not uh, being young, 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 uh, young mother and teen mother. They live in updated in the updated uh, life. I mean, they, in 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 a problem. So they are the one who faces that problem. So we are. That's why my big, big, big uh, side. I put it on the women, because if you see in this world women are being uh, are being discriminated not, not even discriminated they are being faced a lot of problem due to the mostly in, in, in Africa we have that kind um, we have that kind of, 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 of not giving value to women and when treating women. So that's how I'm putting much emphasis on women to make sure that they become economically independent and socially independent at least to, to keep that, uh, uh, to, to empower them so that they can empower family and the country. 
This because is because they have, as I have said, they have have a lot of time. They have even a. This is this is really great, you know, because I think <laughs> women have a different sense of responsibility, and so when you empower women, you will create. Peace at the long run. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm. And uh, at the end, um, tell us what we can do when we live in other countries uh, for you, you, what you plan, and for the women, logically. And um, also, as I said before, the special problem now, do you, do you feel it very much in your country uh, that uh, you are closed and the economy is... Um, bad, I guess. And um, yeah, just uh, tell me still a little bit. I didn't, I didn't get you well because the connection was... Uh, uh, you asked me about coronavirus, the situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it mm -hmm. doing? Uh, how are you living that? And especially also, how is the role of the women there? when you talk about women, how are, are they able to handle that? Women, women are able to handle that. Women are, women, they have, uh, as I said, uh, women, they have that capacity because they have willing, they have that heart. Secondly, women, women, as uh, I was studying psychology, women, they have capacity of doing different things. She can feed the children. She can, she can feed the children at the same time watching TV. At the same time, listening to what is happening outside the house. And at the same time, listening to radio. Which means the women, she can have the capacity of doing different things at the same time. But for the men, we have capacity of doing one thing, she, women can go at work and still following up what is happening at home. But for the men, when they leave the house and go outside, he will be caring what is outside only. He cannot even call behind and said to tell you women they have capacity they have that capacity secondly if you empower, what i have realized women who, who, who have been we the women who, whom we have trained and empowered they are doing well better than men who whom we in train who, who whom we trained because women they do things with care. Secondly, carefully don't want to, for the men, they don't want to be ashamed. If you give him like, let me give you an example. If you give him like 1,000 and say, please, I, didn't, I, I want this money, you go and do this. I want it back. She will, she will do it. Because we have, we have circle, we have association of women here an association of men. But association of women are doing better than... Because they have that kind of trust with you that women whom we empowered, they are empowered. Because men, they are not... They, they go in, women, they go in to go there for... for Look for the lizards. If you don't see lizards early, they, they get away. So what I can tell you, women are doing better than men. And they are doing, the, the people, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, that's great. Uh, the fact is, talking about Corona crisis, all the countries in which women are the leadership, like Australia, New Zealand, uh, Germany, they are all doing better in the corona crisis than the countries with men as leadership. <laughs> you know, so, mm. 
So I'm, I'm really glad that you are uh, taking as a man this task and um, empowering women. How can we help from far away? Uh, in general, um, in Rwanda, uh, concerning coronavirus, government is doing well. Uh, but please don't, don't look at me as a person who is trying to advocate for women because you are a woman, telling you what women do. No, what I wanted to tell you is that if, even if the research, all the research in the, around the world, they show that women, when women go into things, they do it better. But even in, 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 on the side of Corona, government in general is doing good. But the problem, is, the problem of Corona is coming from men because men are not giving, they're not respecting the, 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 the Corona rules and regulations. Sometimes they say we don't want to see people moving at night, going in, drinking alcohol, meeting, doing meeting. But you will find men still, they want to go to the bar, which is a restricted situation. So women in Rwanda are doing better on that side because they are trying to respect the rules and legislation of Corona virus situation. But in general, in Rwanda, government is doing well because we are putting much, much effort and rules on coronavirus, like social distancing, uh, putting on masks. You cannot leave your house without putting on. We are all forced to put on. Everyone is forced to put on mask. You cannot leave your house without that mask. Then, but it has brought very, very big a gap between, still a big gap between women and the men. Because men, they are trying to work, but women are home caring for the children. So women are not working nowadays. You see? So still, the, and uh, no, in general, in general, we are in, in, in crisis. Very, very big crisis. Yeah, yeah. So people who have been working, people who have been working, they are home now. They are not working. At least we have, they have eased some rules on, some people have started moving, going to work. But, but very, the, the most affected business in the whole world, those are in, mostly in Africa, those are business done by women. Because most of the business done by women involve crowding, like small, small market. Those small market mostly, they, because 90 percent, the big percentage of the women are doing the small business those going in the market, meeting more, more, uh, many people. So those are, are most affected business, small shops. So those uh, small, small business are still, uh, are still a problem because it encourages a big number of the people. And we are now trying to avoid a, a big crowd. We want to encourage social distancing, and um, and uh, what we call and uh, putting on masks. So still, we have a problem, but the big problem is affecting children and women. That's how, uh, uh, in general, but in Rwanda, in general, uh, coronavirus. It is we have we have we haven't uh, we have we don't have a this we have two this case only two. And uh, now we have reached 600 uh, cases uh, who are in the hospital. The active are 200, 
others have have recovered. So we are not we are not we have not faced a very big problem on the side of death, but at least we are um, we are doing better than compared to other countries like uh, European countries and the uh, and Western countries, but uh, and even some African countries. So we are doing better, but that people the problem is that people are not working. We are not, we are home and we are and soon children are going to school. So we they are asking themselves what, how they will do uh, how like get, getting scholastic materials. That's how on that side we are trying to to talk with people uh, giving some little scholastic materials yeah, like uniform, like uh, 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 bo books and pens. Uh, because here in Rwanda, primary, primary student, primary school, they are not paying school fee, but at least they need school fee. Sorry, sorry they need the um, uniform, they need uh, books and pens, but we are not paying school fee. On that side, we are doing good. We, are, we don't have that problem. And secondly, when you go to your school, like poor children, when you find that you don't have uniform, they give you some time to buy it, uh, uh, but you keep in school. Uh, so we don't have big problem on that side, but we need, like that kid, we need to give him an exercise book, a pen, and uniform, and shoe, so that he can look like others. Uh, so. But in general, we are not bad. Uh, Rwanda is not bad on the side of coronavirus. The problem is poverty because people are not working. Yeah, and uh, not working, you cannot live a normal life, no? And we, you don't have money, mm. to, no income. Yeah, uh, that was yeah. wonderful, Mahame. You have told me a lot. Unfortunately, it was quite disturbed. I tried to edit the video up to a certain point, uh, but uh, we will see. People need to listen closely <laughs> to, to understand. Sometimes there were some jumps, you know, but that's what it is when the internet is not so good. So I thank you very, very, very much. And let's keep connected on Facebook and uh, give me some updates. Okay. 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 Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, and um, and uh, we we will still we visit our website and see. We will still have communication, and we are inviting you in our country, mm -hmm. and see you will learn more if you come. You will visit some some space, some places and you will learn more if you, you come in this country. And uh, I promise you, I will keep updating you in any, and, and, and don't hesitate if you have any question, I will be answering. I have some people that I work with. I have young lady, she has not yet come. Uh, she's also uh, a survivor. She, you can even talk to her, you don't worry. Any question, any you feel, you can ask us, we are. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very, very yeah. much. <laughs>